Welcome back. And we are rolling coins at the moment. And I just want to show you guys something that I want to touch on that I said in a previous video a couple days ago that I do not collect things. And it just dawned on me that I collect pre-1982 copper pennies. I'm in the process of rolling some change. And here's my bag of pre-1982 copper pennies. Why do I collect pre-1982 copper pennies? Well, they have a, about 90% copper in them. And these have, I believe, zinc with copper plating. I could be wrong. I don't know. Here's a 1945 that we just found. Wheat penny. I don't know if we're going to be able to focus in on that. 1945. One center. So that's a good find. That's something that I'm going to set aside and pass on to the girls. These are the pre-82 ones that we just pulled from this lid. I still got to double check. And I also keep my eye on the silver ones too. Quarters are the only thing that I keep my eyes on. Um, the dimes and nickels I'll look for maybe rarities. But I don't pay that much attention to, which I might. I think I have a silver dime. Uh, from back in the day and I have a couple silver quarters that um, I've pulled I've never had really too much luck with that but with these copper ones it's very common so I want to just show you real quick the difference and over in this corner Abraham Lincoln coming in at 2019 from the Denver Mint weighing in at value of one cent and his opponent over here, coming in from 1980, and there's no mint mark, and I think that means it's Denver. I could be wrong. Oh, uh, wait a minute. That's not Denver, because D is Denver. How about P for Pennsylvania? There you go. See, I don't know much about coins, but I do know this. Now listen. Now. You hear that ping? That's the copper. So you can easily do the test. I did these on visual because of the batina or oxidation or whatever you want to call it. Those were just pulled from the pile, which I could say this might be something here based on that color. And it's hard to tell. In 1990 something, 91 it looks like. Yeah, 91. So it was close. Uh, here's one right there 1977 copper so there's some more that we're gonna go through I, you know I just wanted to change it up a little bit but I'm in the process of rolling these up and uh, finishing up this is the last uh, bunch of it here and going to be putting this in the retirement fund and I'll be keeping these so I can find those. And, you know, I have to do this anyway, so I'm doing it kind of as fast as I can with the drop test, the visual. I'm not trying to check all the years. Anytime I see this, I just immediately just put them aside, count them, and then bag them or roll them up. Um, I look at the quarters, and you can tell by the edges if it's silver or not. They stand out like a sore thumb. So those went relatively quick. And uh, I think we might have a roll there of nickels to, to add to our pile. But that's what I do. I, I said, I think I said in the other video that I didn't collect things. And apparently I mis, misplaced my words. And yes, I do collect things. Why am I hoarding this? I don't know because I'm a hoarder. But there might be an opportunity. And I mean, what would I get for this? Let's just, I mean, I'm curious. Let's just see. Let's just see what this this ways i mean i don't even know what the rates are right now but if we were to take this in you're looking at three pounds ten ounces of copper and you know it might let's say it's three dollars a pound you know you're looking at like ten bucks ten bucks is that ten dollars in pennies who knows i don't know i'm not gonna sit here and count that i'm not gonna go that far but anyway there you go there's my crazy obsession. Thought I'd share that with you. And we're almost done. So, 
Hey, I'll see you guys around. So uh, keep an eye out for these older ones though. 1945. I think that's a pretty cool, pretty cool with Penny right there. Yeah, a lot. That's that's history right there. 1945. Comment down below what happened in 1945. All right, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.